Hey YouTube friends, thank you for coming and visiting my channel and don't forget to like, subscribe and visit me on Instagram where I share things on my stories pretty much daily if possible. And today's not going to be quite about my physical transformation so much so, but just something that I've discovered, found useful that might help you guys. Of course, I don't get paid for this nor am I getting paid by YouTube for anything either because I don't have enough subscribers or watch viewers. So, but I, I thought I would share this because I may not be the only one that deals with nail polish stuff issues and don't really want to go for the acrylic nails because I've tried that stuff and I, I'm not, that was, I, I really didn't like having something almost you know, just the whole process of getting them done um, and then having to deal with the, uh, I feel like it damaged my um, fingernail and it took months for my fingernails to heal up after they finally came off. So here is something I thought I would share with you guys. Like I said, I don't get paid by this company. I'm not sponsored. I just wanted to share with you guys because Hey, you never know. It may help another woman out. My daughter got these for me for Christmas. It's the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Palette. I don't know if you guys could see that. She got it from TJ Maxx for $4.99. Tells on the back how to apply it. I don't know if you guys could see that. Maybe I'm in the view. I don't understand how YouTube works half the time. And has information on uh, prep pad. This, I which I didn't even use, but I thought I would share. I went ahead and cut out. I want to first tell you, see what I've got on my fingernails now? You see, I mean, yeah, I actually put these on like back in December. If you go to my January the 1st video, uh, New Year video, that you'll see I had them on in that video. And I wasn't going over it during that video, but I had them on at that time. And this is how much they've grown out. And of course, I can't keep them trimmed down to a manageable length. And they stayed on that long since before January the 1st and everything. But I'm going to see how easy they come off here. Let me just peel them off. But they stayed on, I mean, through all my showers and everything but yeah let me go ahead and peel these off and then i'll show you how i apply these and we'll see how long these last because i gotta teach swimming lessons this coming up week and i'll be in the chlorinated pool for two hours uh monday through thursday and i wanted to see if this will hold up to the chlorine because i know like i said it's february the 20th and these have lasted since before January the 1st. So almost two months. You see where they grew out. I mean, it shows my fingers grew some. But yeah, they've lasted really well. I washed dishes, all that stuff. Oh, gosh. This one's kind of time coming off. I got those off. And we will test to see how long if they will withhold, withstand the chlorine, um, chlorinated pool and all that. This coming up a couple of weeks, I'll be in the pool. So I will get back to you when I get ready to start putting these on because I'm going to prep it. I'm going to go ahead and prep my fingernails for this and then I will let you know how it goes, right? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my nails prepped. I went ahead and started. So... I don't really trim my nails until after I usually put them on because that way I can cut it back. I went ahead and got the thumb. Do you guys start with the thumb yourself or what? This way I can trim it nice and evenly and get my nails cut as well. This one was a little bit tricky because I've already used one, some of these before the last time around you know it's enough to do do it twice so in case you mess up and you have to start over 
or you just need extras. The, um, this one, just trying to find the size. That's the tricky part. Finding the size for your particular fingernail is a chore sometimes. So I pretty much, and you press pretty good down on there. And I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so that's that thumb. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and do this hand if possible. I'm going to do a couple different colors, I guess, because this what this came in multiple, um, kind of a, like a purplish. Does it say what color this is? I'm not sure. This one, blue slate. So you got blue slate. You got some sparkly ones here. And then you have some like that. So yeah, you got different ones. So this looks like, is this my number one finger? Yeah, we're gonna give this a go. It might be too big, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, peel it off the edge. Try not to touch it. And I'm going to try to lay it on this finger as evenly as possible and try to smooth it. So do you guys that you, you ladies or men, I guess, cause some men do do their nails too. Um, do you prefer doing the nail polish? See for me, nail polish is great, but you gotta be staying on top of it. I don't think I've ever really tried the gel nail polish stuff. So there, I'm going to press that down and make sure it's fully attached because it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, just got to make sure it's secure real well. This is just how I do it. Maybe you guys do a different method on getting these on there or your press ons or whatever. But I want to see if I lose any in the swimming pool, which I doubt it. But we will see. Sometimes I need scissors to trim it. Because if you could save that other half, it might be good for, I don't know. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to trim it at least some with the scissors. And then I'll pick that up. Attach it back to the th sticky thing. Let's see. I don't know if it, this one's going to go over well because it seems to not be sticking so well right there. So now I'm going to go back and trim my fingernail with that fingernail there. I don't think it looks too bad. What do you think? Yeah? And what I like is that it didn't damage my doesn't damage my finger nails it's themselves. Just want to tuck that in there. What do you think? Does it look pretty good so far? Okay, so that's that's number that's number one of that one. And we're gonna switch back to the blue slate for the middle finger there. I think it will be great. Um, see there's a more curved side and then one that's I, I'm taking it that this part goes to the closer to the quick so what we're gonna do carefully apply that i'm not a professional youtuber guys like i said i don't have a lot of subscribers i don't have a lot of followers or anything i'm just a person that just winging it using my phone and i installed uh one of those free video editing things again because i'm going to give that a try again because it's hard to piece together videos clips you know and all that i just wanted basic a basic editing tool that allows me to piece together some multiple clips of video that i do see like i'm pressing on that and so, I downloaded before starting this video, I've had it before, CapCut. Um, it's free, and we're going to give it a try again. 
hopefully, hopefully it will work out. So make the video a little more pleasant to watch, maybe, maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this excess with that. Stick the, that back on there because you never know. You never know. So I'm going to press it down again. Make sure, Try to make sure I get this real good and in. You got to apply plenty of pressure. Right? I'm not giving you guys the finger. Okay. So if you think I am, I apologize. Hopefully it's not too offensive for you. Just being real. How's my weight loss going, you're saying? Uh, it's, you know, I'm finally sticking to the macros. It's it's a challenge. Once you go jump, fall off the wagon a little bit, it's really hard to get back on it. But I think I have to learn to say no to myself and not binge because I want to, in the evening, just go wild and eat whatever I've got in the kitchen. What do you think? turning out pretty good like I said probably after I get done with swimming lessons which I've got I think two or four weeks of swimming lessons I know at least two weeks this week coming up and then next week I'll be doing swimming lessons and I we will see we will see all of course you'll if I do any weight loss update videos or whatever you'll be able to see them in the fingernails in there if they held up or not I think maybe this time around they may not because I don't know if I cleaned them, prepped them well. I wiped them with the prep pads. Okay, so that is done on that one. Where's the other one? I want to keep them. Next, we're going to go back to a different fingernail, I think. That one, let's see, I did thumb, first finger, middle I'm going to do a mm, this one on this finger. And obviously, I think my nails have been pretty good. My natural nails have turned out okay. Um, I don't think that they caused any problems. Because, you know, sometimes those fake nails can leave behind residue or damage your fingernails. So, we're going to put this on the ring finger. This one is going on the ring finger. So gently, let's see, make sure this will fit. Because sometimes I choose too small of ones and then they don't fit. So I don't know if this one will. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. That's doing really well. So let me go ahead and finish this up and then I'll show you the results of this hand in just a moment. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back to finish up the last nail with these Dashing Diva Gloss Ultrasound Gel Palettes. It says it lasts up to 14 days, but like I said, this last round lasted and for, gosh, a month and a half from at least January the 1st. That last, the one video showed January the 1st. I had them on then. And it's February the 20th now. So, yeah. I mean, that's uh, a lot better than a lot of stuff. Of course, it's made in Vietnam. And it probably has stuff in there not really the best of health. But it says it's vegan and cruelty-free. So, that's a good thing. Uh, any other information you want to know? Yeah, it says apply, all that. So, it has instructions. So, let's go ahead and get this last one on. And there's, it. I mean, I've already done it once. This is my second application. So, as you can see, I still have some left. Um, uh, it's hard to see with, probably with the uh, tablecloth, everything. And I clip my nails as I'm doing these. So, yeah, are them all the pieces I have left? I think so. I think so. As you could probably see there. So let's go ahead and get this last one done. It was tricky finding the right sizes because if you're if you don't have standard fingernail sizes, I guess, that then it's tricky. It's 
really tricky. So um, sometimes you have to, if you have really tiny fingers, you have to kind of trim them some to your nail size, or you have to um, get find some that's bigger. Because does this does it even have a size? New size. This is. That's the only problem is everybody's fingers are so different. My daughter's fingernails are very different from mine. Her nails are completely different size than mine. So, so yeah, I'm wrapping this up, wrapping this video up, and I hope you um, kind of enjoyed this. I don't know. I mean, I'm just me, and uh, but I do know there's a lot of people have uh, a lot of people have times trying to figure out what to do about their fingernails chipping fingernail polish or the time consuming acrylic nail applications plus you have to keep going back to have them filled in or whatever or there's so many different things i don't like i said she got that at tj maxx for 4.99 they have a website it's dashingdiva.com so yeah there's 32 strips a prep pad a nail file and instructions do you think i did pretty good i'm not a professional by any means as you can see my makeup is never i mean i see some youtubers and their makeup is amazing and i'm like wow I'm just trying to get that eye makeup right and everything so i'm me you're you um People are going to judge you anyway, I suppose, whether you wear makeup, whether you wear jewelry, whether you do your hair, however you do your stuff, people are going to judge you. But, you know, I thought, hey, my daughter got them for me for Christmas and they sure did last a lot longer. You know, I'm not always into doing nails and stuff like that, but sometimes it's fun to do it. So we're going to see how these last. I predict... Though the last ones lasted well over a month and a half, I'm predicting these probably will at least get through swim lessons. Like I said, I only have to teach for two weeks, I think. I'm not sure. Being in chlorine, I think maybe they'll go two weeks. But yeah, the, what do you think? Do you think they look good? Like I said, like, subscribe. Go to my Instagram and check me out there. I'll have that all in the description below, and I'm going to try to see if CapCut will um, do good at editing this video and all of that. But yeah, if you find that these um, Dashing Diva Gloss ones, give them a try. If you have already done them, please let me know what your thoughts are on them and if you, which you prefer, acrylic nails, going to have them done really gel fingernail polish regular fingernail polish sticky type fingernails or press on fingernails what is your preference what is your preference so you can let me know in your cut in the comments and everything and um yeah affordability that is another key 4.99 for 32 of these a lot cheaper than acrylic nails so you got to take that into account how much are you willing to spend on something that's so superficial and you got to go get done repeatedly? How much money do you spend on your acrylic nails, I wonder? I imagine, I, I think I know somebody that spends maybe $100 a month, I think, on theirs or something like that. That's, that's quite expensive going to keep having them filled in regularly or redone. But, hey, if you got that kind of money to spare, sure, go for it. I mean... No judgment from me. I mean, I watch some YouTubers that do all of that stuff and go for it. Doesn't bother me none. You know, if you have it, use it. Do it. You know, go for it. I don't have that kind of money to spare. So, I will see you guys in another video. Hopefully, sooner rather than later. And, bye!